Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to define variables in C++. So I just want to talk about how we go about storing and using variables in C++. We can also call this process declaring and initializing our variables. However, we'll get into what both those terms mean soon. So to begin, we need to tell C++ the type of information that we want to store. There are six very common data types that I want you to become familiar with. Firstly, we have strings, which are just regular text. Also, we can have numbers in strings, but C++ will only recognize them as text and not a number that we can actually add or subtract from another. As strings are a bit more complicated, we're going to be talking about those in the next video. To manipulate numerical data, we need one of the following. An integer, which are whole numbers. A float, which can hold decimal points up to seven digits. Or a double, which is double the precision of a float and it can hold roughly 15 to 16 digits. If you want to store a true or false data type, then we initialize our variable as a boolean, which we represent as a shortened bool term. Lastly, when we want to store only a single character, then we use the char or character data type, and these are surrounded by a single quotation mark and can only store a single character. There are also several other data types. However, I just wanted to go through a few to get you familiar with them. As we work our way through the course, the differences between all these different data types will become more apparent to you if you are currently still not comfortable with them all. To store a variable in C++, we need to perform two different tasks. First, we must declare the variable, i.e. tell C++ what kind of data type that we want to store. And then we initialize the variable, so that is to tell C++ what the value of that newly declared variable will be. So, as I said earlier, an integer is just a whole number, so let's start there as it is very simple. We begin by typing our variable's data type, which we just said was an integer. So we type int, which is short for integer. Then we need to tell the C++ compiler what is the name of the variable going to be. Let's say that this number represents our number of YouTube subscribers. Therefore, we can name it YouTube subscribers. Lastly, we need to tell C++ what the value of that variable is equal to. Let's just say 950. Then, as always in C++, we denote the end of a line with a semicolon. As another quick example, let's store a float variable. So, remember the formatting. We define the data type of our variable first, which is going to be a float, and then a space, and then our variable name. So, let's call it number and then after the equal sign, we assign the value of this variable, just like we did with the previous integer variable. Except now, we can use numbers that have decimals in them. And that is it, you just stored your first couple variables in C++. So, just remember, you need to tell C++ three things when storing your variable. What the data type of the variable you're storing is, the name of the variable, and the value of that variable. Another quick thing about storing variables in C++ is that you can choose and declare the variable type in one line, so tell C++ what type of variable you're going to be storing, and then at some later line, you can initialize that variable. So if you were to remove the value for YouTube subscribers, we can apply it later, like so. And as you can see here, the same print statement is achieved. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped your understanding of how we define variables in C++ programming language. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.